The Tate brothers' fate has taken a slide for the worse. A Bucharest court has charged them both with human trafficking, rape, and forming a criminal gang. Two Romanian women have also been charged with the latter offense. Should the Tate brothers be worried, or will they be able to walk free using their vast amount of wealth? Regardless of the Tate brothers' possible guilt, everybody's entitled to a fair trial. But the brothers may have picked the wrong fight. Let us take a deep dive into this case and consider how either the corrupt culture in Romania may influence the court's verdict or how other forces such as the influence of big media and ideology-driven states may sway the court case direction. But before we do, let's take a quick recap of the events leading up to the charges. In 2019, the Crown Prosecution Service of Great Britain investigated claims of recurring strangulation and rape against the Tate brothers, but chose not to instigate any charges. However, in April 2022, a new development occurred when a man reached out to the U.S. Embassy, alleging that his former girlfriend was being held captive in the brothers' residence in Romania. Following this, Romanian authorities launched a search operation in the residence of the Tate brothers, which also served as a webcam studio, and discovered four women on the premises. According to two of these women, they were detained there against their consent. On December 29, 2022, the police apprehended the Tate brothers and two women. All four have been implicated in organized crime and are facing accusations of human trafficking. Allegedly, they established a criminal enterprise in early 2021 that forced the women to generate explicit content for various websites. On Tuesday, the 20th of June, 2023, Romania's anti-organized crime agency, known as DCOT, issued a statement announcing that all four defendants are being charged respectively with crimes such as forming a criminal organization, human trafficking, and rape. Now, judging from the behavior which Andrew and his brother Tristan are displaying, they are giving the optics to the media that all this will blow over. This cool demeanor can be seen here as the pair walk from court today. Tristan sucks on his cigar while strutting his stuff. Judging from the last six months, the Romanian prosecutors and courts have acted with an iron fist. From house arrest to incarceration in a police cell, it's been no walk in the park for the brothers. The Tates have an enormous following on social media, with some huge names appearing to be their supporters from Piers Morgan to Patrick Bet David. That said, they also have their detractors, the most powerful being mainstream media. Think the BBC, i.e. the British Broadcasting Corporation. The BBC challenged him on whether his views about women broadcast to his millions. So let's begin by asking why Andrew Tate went to live in Romania. Unfortunately for the Tate brothers, the answer to this question is steeped in ironic tragedy. On many podcast shows, Tate expressed his reasons for going to live in Romania. Mainly, he believed the British government was overbearing and intrusive. I decided to try and find somewhere which is safe with genuine freedom. Oh, has a happy medium between non-regulated and non-controlled, but also a very safe place that isn't a completely third world. And I stumbled on to across Romania. What happened? And that they were targeting him for his wealth. And in Romania, he found an environment that offered less government regulation, promising more personal freedom. However... A quick look at Wikipedia will tell you that where government regulation lacks, corruption often grows, a significant issue deeply rooted in Romania's justice system. Norica Nicolai, an ex-prosecutor from Romania, has even expressed that the verdict on Tate's case might be influenced from the top tiers of government. In 2008, for the position of Minister of Justice of Romania. Also, you are a former prosecutor. What do you think about this case so far? And what is your opinion on it after what you have heard here? I have not only watched the unfolding of this case on your TV broadcast, but followed this case closely as it made its debut at the end of the year during the holidays. Initially, I thought it's a cover-up for something. But from what I can see, from a criminal point of view, everything looks like an improvisation. Even the judge has excluded the rape accusation, as what the prosecution had on file wasn't sufficient evidence to convince anyone it was rape, so the judge asked for more evidence. This sentiment isn't just found in professional circles, but is also mirrored in the more casual discourse on Reddit where users suggest that the same corruption Tate was attracted to might be his downfall. But there's more to this story. This corruption can serve as an open door for outside forces to impact the outcome of Tate's court case. Now, who might be pulling the strings from the shadows? A likely candidate is mainstream media, from whom Tate has faced numerous bans, except for on Twitter. Kudos to Elon Musk for that. Within the realm of mainstream media, 
BBC has frequently found itself in contention with Tate. Though the British Broadcasting Corporation claims independence from the government, it's still ultimately held accountable by the British Parliament. The British government, it seems, holds certain ideological stances that it vehemently supports, many of which Andrew Tate opposes openly. At this point, you might be thinking, how can the British government meddle in Romania's legal matters? Well, when aid and security for Romania's Black Sea borders are at stake, it's plausible that Romania might align with England's wishes in Tate's case. It's a classic power play, where political strings might be pulled in unexpected places, altering the course of justice. Smash the subscribe button if you liked today's video, and leave a comment below about what you think will happen to the Tate brothers.